If you're new to programming, I want you to listen to these next few minutes where I share with you a bit of wisdom from someone who's been learning and teaching coding for nearly 10 years. And that person is me, and I want to begin by saying, coding is hard. This is a tough thing to do. It's not going to be easy, and in fact, it's probably going to be one of the hardest things you've ever done. But that's more of a reason why you should actually do it. And I just want to give you some kind of tips and advice in this video to really keep you pushing and make sure you remember why you wanted to learn to code in the first place and you don't give up on that goal. So first off, coding, again, very difficult, very frustrating. I am a relatively calm person. I'm usually fairly stoic, but when I run into bugs, when I can't solve something for the 30th minute or for the fifth hour, it's been two days and I just can't get past an issue, you will see me punching my monitor, screaming, yelling, doing push-ups to get my energy out. Like it just goes crazy. It's such a frustrating thing and there's nothing in my life I've done that's more frustrating than trying to solve some of the simplest coding bugs. This is something that even at the higher levels of development you're going to experience. And sometimes it makes you question your life decisions, why you're doing this and what even is the point of building this website or this project or whatever is going on. Now, I have obviously gotten better at dealing with that over the years, but I just want to make you aware that it's a very, very normal feeling. And I've had many nights where I've gone to bed with an unsolved bug and asked myself what the heck I'm doing and if I should just change career paths and go do something else because I don't want to deal with this. So very normal feeling and you will learn how to overcome that and in fact that's one of the most impactful things being able to persevere being able to solve that impossible bug to work through that tutorial to set up your computer when it's been hours and hours since nothing is working is really one of the most satisfying feelings in the world and i can tell you that i still remember bug fixes i did when i was 17 years old because of how long they took me and how ecstatic and elated i felt that i was actually finally able to solve them so please keep going, don't give up. That ability to persevere is something that carries much further than just coding, and it really brings itself into your everyday life. I can say since I've gotten better at programming and as I've gone through this journey, I just feel more confident. I think any problem I have is solvable, that I can fix it, that I can figure it out. And that's one of the most freeing things in the world. Obviously you can get this from doing other things, not just learning how to code, but I think that being a developer, you really learn that quite quickly. Any problem is fixable, it is solvable. There is a solution, you can figure it out. And I want you to remember that because there is always a way to fix a problem. It's not impossible and it comes down to how much can you persevere and how much more effort can you give? How much more time can you put into it? And can you use strategies to help you calm down, relax and approach the problem from a different angle? Now, with that said, I want to talk a little bit about the coding journey. I remind you that this is exactly what it says, a journey, and it's unique for everyone. It's really discouraging when you're just learning how to code and you go online and you see stories of people that learned to code in three months and got a job at Google or ran the next AI tech startup and made a billion dollars or are, you know, Y Combinator founders at 19 years old and are AI geniuses and programming experts. That is an anomaly and is really, really dangerous and toxic to compare yourself to those type of people. Even comparing yourself to someone like myself, a YouTuber who's been doing this for a very long time or going on Reddit forums or looking at people that just have all these great success stories at such a young age or in such a short time period, this is really not a healthy thing to do and I wanna discourage you from doing that. Now, yes, it can be motivating and you can take that component of it, but the reality is everyone learns this at a completely different pace. I've taught over 10,000 people how to code on a more personal level. I know their stories and I know that all these people had a completely different journey, needed different resources, different videos, a much different time frame. Some people, yes, they can do it in a few months. Other people, it takes years. The amount of time it takes you to learn this does not dictate your ability to code and it does not say if you're a good or bad developer. Some of the best developers I know, it took them a really, really long time to get started and I was one of those people. It took me years to really get my confidence in programming. Many people wouldn't know that watching my videos, but that's the case. A lot of time, a lot of effort, and I promise you it is worth it. So just a friendly reminder here, don't compare yourself to other people. You wanna make sure you're just looking at your own progress. Obviously you wanna move forward, you wanna make progress, but don't go look at those brainiacs online that are getting jobs at 19 and 20 years old and making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Those are abnormalities. That is not normal. It is gonna take you a long time to do this and everyone's journey is completely different. You really need to embrace that and remember that it's about you, it's not about all the other people. Now with all that said, I wanna leave you with one last parting message here. 
Programming and software development is one of the highest value skills you can build in 2024, and that's because it gives you time, location, and financial freedom. This gives you the skill to choose where you wanna work, who you wanna work for, how much money you wanna get paid. You can do this in any location, you can do this in any time zone, and you can do it for any company at any rate or any salary you want. Now, obviously, you gotta build yourself up. It's not like you can just demand to get paid half a million dollars a year, but the reality is there's very few skill sets that give you all of those traits like software development does. And over the past few years, I've taken advantage of those. I've been traveling a lot more now. I'm actually moving to Dubai very shortly kind of a little announcement there. And it's one of the things that I really appreciate about this skill set. I can do it anywhere I want. I can do it on any time zone and I can pretty much control my income by doing different jobs, freelance gigs, teaching programming, or even building my own company if I wanted to go ahead and do that. So I highly encourage you learn this skill. If you do want a premium option to do that, I do have a software development course. This is with Course Careers. We run you through software development fundamentals, teach you a specialization in front end, back end, or DevOps, and then help you every step of the way to actually landing your first job. Check that out from the link in the description. I hope this was a helpful video, and I will see you in the next one.